In this video, we are going to walk you through how to install the Nucleus SmartFit RTOS solution for the ST Microelectronics architecture. After you have requested the trial and received the confirmation email, you can click on the download link in the email, which will bring you to the Mentor Embedded portal. On the portal, you can see the available releases for SmartFit for ST Microelectronics. Clicking on the latest release will show you the available files for that release. On the ST Microelectronics download page, we can download the Windows installer. Then select the BSP installation configuration you desire. Once the files have downloaded, the first step is to run the install executable for SmartFit for ST Microelectronics. Double clicking on the executable file will start the installation process. Choose the target install path, agree to the terms and conditions, and click on Install. After the installation is complete, the next step is to set up a directory that will hold the workspace. Now we can open the Sorcery Codebench IDE in the Start menu. When Sorcery Codebench opens for the first time, browse to the folder you created and choose that workspace. Several options appear for automated processes. We're going to go directly to the workbench. Now we are going to create our Nucleus project that includes the BSP and targets the board. We're going to click on New, Nucleus System Project. Name the project and select the binary template that we downloaded earlier from the Mentor Embedded Portal. The compressed archive will have all the information necessary to build the SmartFit application. After the project is built, you will see it has the OS, the BSP, the device drivers, everything needed to build a Nucleus application. The next step is to build an application that will actually run on top of this architecture. We select New, C Project. We'll call this one Hello, as we will base this on the Hello World program. We will see a list of the features of our system project. The serial driver, kernel driver, all the information about the packets is available. The readme text is shown, and we can open the source files in the project. After import, the next step is to build the project. This will build both the application and the Nucleus system project. We can switch to the console and see the build is complete. At this point, we have a ST Microelectronics system project that is complete binary of your application on top of a complete RTOS BSP and device driver system targeted for the MCU in the ST Microelectronics family that you have selected.